My second story actually, um, you know, deals with this whole dilemma of, um, you know, what you do when confronted between, um, you know, the obvious tenets of integrity or not integrity. And I remember being very influenced by an article that Sir Adrian Cadbury had written in the Harvard Business Review, and it's called Ethical Managers Make Their Own Decisions. I was sent to Nigeria, and within three weeks of arriving in Nigeria, I was responsible for sales and marketing. A six foot, seven inch tall Nigerian walked into my office, and he was wearing the traditional Nigerian garb. And he said that there is a shortage of Bonvita, but uh, if we could divert some trucks of bon Bonvita to Kaduna, which is the northern part of the country, um, I and my family could actually be very happy. And he took off this big robe. And basically, the way the Nigerians travel is they actually have, you know, he had lakhs and lakhs of money tied to his uh, clothes. And he put all of that on the table. I've never seen so much money in my life. And I said, uh, so what do you want me to do? He said, I want you to divert some trucks of Bonvita to the north. You know, the Nigerians are very clear. They cut through the chase. There's no if, but, anything. So I said, um, you know, you'll have to give me five minutes to make a decision on this. So can you wait outside? So I requested him to go outside, literally. And I called in my sales guy. And I said, uh, we're going to sack this fellow. And we're going to sack him right now. Um, so I got into a lot of conflict about, you know, he's been with us for a long time, what will happen to sales, targets, budgets, quarterly results, etc., etc. To which I said, don't worry, I will explain to the managing director and the board of the company why I'm doing what I'm doing. And the second thing that I had discovered in my, you know, first two weeks I traveled extensively was that in a place like Lagos, we had a lot of women distributors and we had never had an issue with um, you know, paying a bribe or diverting trucks or anything like that. So I actually instantaneously came to two decisions. One was that people like him need to be sacked immediately. The second thing is I need to go to my board and tell them not to expect a great first quarter because this is what we were doing and it would create a disruption. And the third thing we did was we replaced a lot of the distributors. We actually appointed women distributors and I'm really glad to say that when I left Nigeria after a year, 65% of our distributors were women. And in that year, which was a very, very tough year in Nigeria, we actually grew the business in real terms, you know, both in volume as well as in value. And I believe that is something that has actually stayed with the company.